All right, so in my last video, I uh, showcased my fire starter kit. You may recognize this container here from, you know, the fire starter one. This one has your matches and the, the striker and the, the cotton balls inside of it. And since I had already shown that, um, that little pill container, I decided that I wanted to go ahead and show you a little kit that I built inside another one of those pill containers. And, um, I mean, <laughs> realistically, these things are really small, you know, like this can be on a keychain, you know, this can be on a backpack, you know, the, the places you can carry these things is, is pretty, pretty rearranged. And, um, as you can see here, I have quite a few different ones. Um, I bought two of these, these came together, um, you know, and like, seriously, like they're just little tiny containers, you know, it can be used for all sorts of things. Um, even little small emergency, uh, kits such as, you know, a fire starter. And when I get to this one here in a minute, you're going to see quite a few things that you can actually pack in there. And, um, these two, I actually got these two off of wish. And, um, what's cool about this one right here is it has little dividers between each little section right here. They're little dividers. And, um, this one, same thing, you know, it came from, um, from wish.com and I got, um, let's see, I'm pretty sure for both of these, I got them for, so now you have a, like a long one, you know, a couple of the size of that one, but, um, on wish, I'm pretty sure I got both of these for, I think under $12, including shipping. So now I can take the attachment from that one. The middle part, I have a, a deeper hole, you know, and now I have a little bit longer one. So now you have small little, con you know, compartments and so that you can carry around with you, you know, on a keychain. And there, I mean, this one's, you know, a little bit more than twice the size of this one, but you know, it's still like, this is a very useful thing. I mean, you can do, you can carry this in a lot of places and, you know, you can attach it to a backpack. Same with this one, same for any of the other ones. And, um, they're really nice just to have, you know, on a keychain or, you know, wherever you want to, you know. Well, stick them, I guess, you know, don't get some crazy ideas there, guys. I'm not making any in the windows there, but yeah, let's go ahead and get to this little kit though. Um, I'm going to show you all the things that I crammed inside of here. And, uh, it's pretty nice, especially when you're on the go and let's say you don't have an Altoid tin with you. So upon popping this forward, there's nothing on the outside, you know, like you can make a little duct tape container that goes on the outside of it, but, um, First things first, you know, you saw the cotton ball pop out, but on the inside of here, I have my tweezers that I'm going to use to take this stuff out, is a tiny little magnet. And the little magnet has an application later on that um, I'll explain. Some of you already probably know what a small magnet will do um, in a kit, but yeah. So first off, we have a cotton ball. You know, it's not soaked in anything. There's nothing on it. It's just a regular, um, dry cotton ball. Let's go ahead and set this up there a little bit more. First or second thing, match striker. I'm a huge advocate about learning how to make your own fires, you know, but for really simple applications, you know, and really, really quick, um, when you need to fire really fast, you know, it's easy just to have a, a match and a, a striker, you know, and to go with that match. I mean, or to go with that striker, I have a tiny little match. And um, this thing is really, really small to grip a hold of. But um, I'm kind of hoping that you might even have a pair of tweezers or even a uh, multi-tool with a pair of pliers on it. That way you can grab it and use it. But um, otherwise, you know, you have a little bit of a striker, you know, and you have a little bit of room before it, it lights. But I mean, that should be enough space to be able to create a flame. You know, I've made... I've made a fire with, you know, a match about that size. And, um, I actually cut it to be the comfortable length for myself personally. But next thing you're going to see in here is a single water purification tablet. And, um, for those ones, you know, two of those can purify, uh, one quart of water, you know, over 30 minutes. And, um, it leaves behind a really nasty taste. Um, somebody in my uh, previous video actually commented on there and they asked me, what are the pills for the, um, to get rid of the, the taste and their, um, 
since these have like an iodine type flavor, uh, the other pills get rid of that iodine flavor. And um, I never really use them in any of my kits. Some of them I might, but if you're in a survival situation, you know, even that little bit of space might help. But I mean, I could put them in a kit if I wanted to. I could even probably have put them in here if I really wanted to. Next thing you're going to see is uh, I showed this in a, a video um, a few videos ago is it's two um, push pins, uh, two like push tacks um, uh, taped together with um, fishing line wrapped all around it. And this is actually surprisingly probably about six feet, I believe, six or eight feet. I can't remember which one which one it is, but um, it's got quite a bit. Like, it, it doesn't even look like it on this. And of course, I have the piece of tape, you know, to keep it from unraveling on its own. But um, yeah, you'd be surprised at how much fishing line you can actually get with um, a little bit of space. It's really cool. I like it. This next thing right here. So usually I would just dump the contents of this whole thing out, but, you know, for the sake of going in order and for that I want to do it one by one this is a little piece of it's two razor blades cut off of a, a small utility knife and I used a piece of um, straw to melt down to make a little sheath for it you know and this is just a you can use this to cut your fishing line cut a little bit of wire maybe you have um maybe you're making a small trap and you need to you know just get to your um get a razor blade, you know, to cut exact measurements and so that, you know, but, um, yeah. And then the little sheath it took me a second to get it back on there. Ooh! I'll tell you when you're making videos, it's a little bit harder to do things cause you're like under pressure. But, um, <laughs> I even sliced off a little piece of it trying to get it in there. But anyway, there's a little sheath, you know, I'll take care of that later. I'm not going to waste time trying to put that back in there. All right, now here comes the fun part. This is the part that I was really thinking. I was like, how much, how can I really maximize the space? And you can see by looking in there, like it is pretty crammed at this moment. And um, the first thing that I'm going to pull out is actually the fire striker. I have a fire striker that I showed in the last video, um, or one of my last videos. And this is the one that can be tied to a shoelace because it has the two holes. And, um, that is really, really nice. You know, um, I, you could use the razor blade, you know, to, uh, scrape off some of that, but I don't recommend that. Next part you got is, uh, this is so cool. So I have a safety pin cut through this thing to actually pull it out much easier. So you're not digging in there, but, um, check this out. <laughs> it is the perfect length from there. Inside here is, let me go ahead and pull out the bag. The bag is it's standalone. This is a this is a produce bag that has actually been cut in half. It's not the a full length uh, produce bag, and uh, don't be um, don't be thinking that this tape is actually taped to it because it's not. I actually created it's a little. Uh, see, I don't want to pull it out of this thing. Um, it's a little sheath, just like I made these sheaths right here, and this is just wrapped around it. So if I undo this tape and open it up, the tape is actually not stuck to the, the bag itself. However, I got it nice and rolled up there, pretty nice, and just enough to fit the, the fire striker rod on the inside. <laughs> I'm a genius! No. <laughs> no, it took me a little while to actually figure out how to do that, because, like... Um, I wanted to put a bag in there for, you know, just the, the fact of having a, a produce bag inside of here to go with my, my water. And it's the same thing with this one right here. So this is actually, if I undo the tape, this is a piece of dryer tape. Um, the, the aluminum one at least is. So if I undo this tape right here, this duct tape is sticking pretty well. You just unravel this. And it's actually sheathed. You can kind of see how it's how it works here, and some of the stuff is falling out. But um, right there is a a fishing hook to go with my fishing line, of course. You know, a needle. Let's throw that needle down in there. That's a regular sewing needle. It can be bent to become a fishing hook. I have fishing hook number two. Here is a little. Uh, a tool for your teeth, 
I swear by these things. I'm always using things to pick out crap out of my teeth. This is the other part of that, which is the toothpick side. The next I have another needle. Another needle. Needles have various applications. I mean, you can use it for all sorts of things, really. Simply. This right here is a threader. Um, I chopped off the back. I, I've showed this in a few of my videos. But if it'll focus on that little... Uh, there it is. So that little wire right there is thinner than your your sewing kits. And, um, yeah. So you thread it through here. I'm going to do this off camera. So yeah, you stick it through, and um, I'm shaking really bad right now, it's hard for me to do, but anyway, you, you take this part, you shove it through your needle, you put the string on the other side, and then you pull it through, and it makes it just much easier to thread a needle, especially if like, you're in the dark and your, your hands are shaky, or the weather's cold, um, I've had to use it with snow on the ground, and uh, my hands were freezing, and that thing actually, it, it made it really, really efficient. I have a safety clip, or a safety pin, attached to the tape itself that helps the sheath. And then I have another one. This is actually standing straight up, but when I unraveled it, it opened up. This is another safety pin. I have a paper clip, you know, if you want to be MacGyver. Being, you can make all sorts of stuff with that. If you played Resident Evil back in the past, that is the, the biggest multi-tool that you could ever have because it's a, it's a lock pick. <laughs> There's a famous speech given by Barry in the first one. Here's a small nail. You can add basically anything you want there, you know, but I, I threw the nail in just because. And then right here is a double-ended saw. My camera will focus. Yep. So this was also part of those cards that I had in an earlier video. Um, I took one of the, the full-length saws, cut it in half, and now I have a fine piece saw. And then I have a, another saw, and this could be used maybe to cut through a branch, you know. I mean, it'd take a long time if the branch wasn't thin enough. But the other side is actually um, for the striker rod. And um, this actually would, you know, be able to get off your shavings a little bit better than that razor blade. And um, there you have it. Um, this right here is just, it's two inches across, and it's, um, it's two inches wide. So when you open that up, you know, you have... Um, just that piece of aluminum. You can cut it into strips in case you get lost and you know you can put them on trees. Um, the, this this thing adhere really well to a textured surface such as a tree and so if you're thinking that you're walking in circles you can actually cut off little pieces of that strip and then um, and put it on the tree so it's on like a marker you know it's just like carrying a piece of chalk with you and um, the elements won't take that off such as you know snow and rain. So, if you ever get lost, this little kit could be, you know, a nice little helper. You know, it's not going to survive you, you know, 24 hours out there. But, you know, if you're stuck out for a few hours or, you know, you're waiting for somebody, you know, this is a quick, a quick kit to keep with the Atom and it fits in just one of these. You can keep it on a keychain. But, awesome. Thank you guys for watching and um, I'll have another video up soon. Oh, and I forgot to mention... So the magnet that's right here is actually used to magnetize one of the needles. And when you magnetize a needle, you can actually um, you can get it to polarize um, towards the... Um, it basically becomes a little compass. So you rub that up against the needle for a little while, and then you put it on a leaf and you put it in some water, and um, it'll actually point north. So that's the point of the magnet there. I forgot to mention that in the first part of that. But, but yep, that's also why I have two needles. One of them's a thinner needle too. You can kind of see the difference in a little bit of this on the video. But yeah.